And this expansion is the X-Men and Marvel Dice Throne Missions expansion. The X-Men expansion is just going to be introducing a bunch of new heroes and villains related to the X-Men franchise that's going to be introduced to the game, which you can mix in with the original Dice Throne. And then the Dice Throne Missions is going to be a brand new cooperative experience where players will be able to play both as the X-Men or non-X-Men characters as they play through these various missions. This means that you can use your existing characters if you already own Marvel Dice Throne in order to use this new co-op mode. But it is going to be introducing a bunch of new components so you will need to get this expansion in order to do it. But it's going to be introducing 12 base scenarios into this co-op mode with a variety of difficulty and length with different objectives and bonus objectives that players can try to complete as they play throughout that mode and there will also be a final boss that players will have to go up against. What's neat about this is that all players can play simultaneously and then resolve their offensive roles in order and then the enemy activates through a new set of dice that's going to be included with this module. There's also going to be a new mechanism and resource included in this module which is called momentum which you'll be able to gain and spend in order to take advantage of different effects as well as gain allies and then spend that to also level up to gain additional effects. Because this one is an expansion to the existing Dice Throne, which also launched on Kickstarter, I did already cover that and offer footage on how that one plays. So if you do want to know more about this and have some more information, I do have a link down below, but I will go ahead and roll my previous footage for you now. And just like with every other Dice Throne, the rules for this one is going to be the same, and you're going to be able to choose a hero from a variety of heroes that each have their own asymmetrical hero board and leaflet, which outlines their abilities and their ultimate attacks. And for each character, players will also get a health tracker, a combat points tracker, a deck of cards, and five dice. And on a player's turn, they'll draw one card from their deck, and then they'll also gain one combat point. And combat points are kind of like a currency that allow you to play certain cards throughout the game. And the active player can play as many actions as they want in any order, and there's three actions that a player can perform. The first one is to discard any of their cards in order to gain some combat points, or they can pay the cost to play a hero upgrade card that they currently have in their hand. And the way that those work is that each upgrade is going to match an ability on your player board, and if you pay the cost for that upgrade, then you're going to replace that ability on your player board by putting your new card on top of it. So these upgrades will augment the abilities that you already have. And the third action is that you can play any amount of action cards and to do that you just pay the cost and then perform the action. And then you're going to roll your five dice and you can re-roll any amount of your dice up to two times and then you can play any one of your offensive abilities. But each of these abilities also have requirements and in order to play any of these abilities you would have had to roll the appropriate dice in order to fulfill that requirement. So this might mean that you need certain icons or a certain sequence of numbers. If you're just playing a two-player game, then you're just simply attacking your opponent player. But if there's any more than two players, then you're going to roll a die to determine your target. Some dice rolls dictate the player that you have to attack, while other dice rolls might give the option up to the players. This different colored ability in the bottom right is actually your defense ability, and if you're ever attacked, you can try and defend against that attack. Although some attacks can't be defended against, and you're also going to have to roll your dice in order to fulfill the requirements of that ability. Once you've completed your attack, you can perform any of those three actions I mentioned before as much as you like once again and this is going to allow you to brace yourself for the next player's turn. 